What are the economic importance of angiosperms? What is an angiosperm? It is a plant that has flowers and produces seeds enclosed within a carpel. The angiosperms are a large group and include herbaceous plants, shrubs, grasses, and most trees. Angiosperms, a plant whose ovules are enclosed in an ovary, are commonly referred to as flowering plants, as opposed to gymnosperms, or cone-bearing plants. Angiosperms form a phylum, the phylum Anthophyta. Angiosperms are also called anthophytes or magnoliophytes. Thesporophyte is dominant and the gametophyte is the most reduced offal plants. There are so far more than 300,000 far-named angiosperms. Angiosperms evolved in the Cretaceous. Many have close bound mutualisms with pollinating insects. Angiosperms are divided into monocotyledons and eudicotyledons, dicotyledons, why is it important to study economics? Economics presents a wide view of how financial concerns influence the world. This applies to local considerations as well as nationwide issues that include poverty, capitalism, interest rates and food prices. What is the importance of economics? Economics is a social science and it is important in our social life, political life, economic life and daily life. It is based on the pillar of a country that who a country is progressing in the economic field. Who its people is growing in the economic field. Why are angiosperms important? Importance of angiosperms. Provide animals with food herbivores provided directly and carnivores indirectly. Major food crops corn, wheat, rice. Used to make anything of wood. Fiber for clothing and rope. Medicine. Perfume oil. Rubber the cap letters mean it's important smiley face. Dot. How are angiosperms and gymnosperms important to the economy? Gymnosperms are responsible for lumber and paper. Angiosperms are responsible for fruit and the more expensive lumber the economic importance is overwhelming. I can't put a number on it, but there is no need to. First, the fact that angiosperms are seed-producing plants with enclosed seeds, which basically includes all your fruits and many that are popularly called vegetables. Second, let's just look at this latter group and consider one taxonomic family, Solanaceae, out of the over 400 that comprise angiosperms. That family, also called the nightshade family, includes all your peppers or chilies, tomatoes, tomatillos and eggplants, technically fruits, not veggies, vegetables such as the potato, tobacco, ornamental flowers and shrubs, including petunia, ornamental nicotiana, and angel trumpet, and psychotropics such as datura and mandrake. Staggering amount of economic value in that group alone. Third, consider a few other families of angiosperms such as cucurbits, squash, cucumbers, gourds, etc. Brassicas, cabbages, kales, broccoli, etc. Legumes, peas, beans, peanuts, etc and others which pretty much comprise most for the fruits and vegetables we eat. Then, expand to other industries that depend on angiosperms, flowering plants, ornamental blooming trees and shrubs, and the fresh fruit industry to name a few. Oh, do you want to cook some of those items? Most hardwoods used for fire are angiosperms. Want something to drink with that meal? A glass of wine made from grapes angiosperm and aged in a wooden oak angiosperm cask or better yet a whiskey distilled from grain angiosperm and aged in oak adds of the economic picture. Oh, you don't drink? Then have some tea angiosperm or coffee angiosperm. I guess you are getting the picture now. Angiosperms are almost everywhere, forests, grasslands, by the seas, and in deserts. They directly, or indirectly, affect all. The grass family gives, feedstock, any raw material needed to keep the business going. And barley, corn, millet, oats, rice, rye, sugar, sorghum and wheat. As flowers, trees, carrots, parsnip, ragwort, potatoes, mint, and herbs, they are again, the most important economically, as in medicines, where except for antibiotics angiosperms are almost always involved and timber for houses, and buildings. The flowering plants have a number of uses as food, specifically as grains, sugars, vegetables, fruits, oils, nuts, and spices. In addition, plants and their products serve a number of other needs, such as dyes, fibers, 
timber, fuel, medicines, and ornamentals.